bit of a nightmare start to the day. Drop my camera. The door for the battery has snapped. So gonna have to find someone that's not super glue later and try and stick that back together. Um, but in the meantime, got myself some breakfast, got like a bacon pastry thing and rice bowl. Uh, probably have a bit of a walk around the dock. I've also just realized I didn't bring my <laughs> spare batteries. So I probably will walk home first, get a spare battery. I feel like I've forgotten something else. You know that feeling you get. Not a great start to the day, but hopefully at some point we'll be at the dock. I'm gonna walk around the dock and then we're gonna go up to this place that has a bunch of like old European homes. Yeah, that's the one for today. You'll probably end up just seeing me at the dock. I'm gonna eat this now, uh, and then I think I will go back to the hostel. You may see bits on the way, but otherwise, see you at the dock. So I went home and got the batteries. I also wrapped tinfoil around my microphone, which sounds weird, but unfortunately with this microphone you get a lot of interference and there's sometimes a high pitch noise. So hopefully that should fix it. I've been trying to fix it in post, but I'm not an audio engineer. It's a beautiful day out today. I was hoping to go up that. It's the Kobe Harbor Tower, but it's closed for repairs. There is the Maritime Museum and there's also a special something that seems like a really weird thing to have here. Hopefully when we get to it you'll instantly recognise what it is. I don't really know what I ought to expect but we'll go see. So I was lied to. That thing there, the white building, this thing, is called Notre Dame Kobe. I thought there was going to be an actual replica of the Notre Dame but we have been lied to. So, left the harbour now, pretty nice. It's just nice to hear the, the waves even. I really want to go swimming in the sea, but unfortunately can't do that here. Maybe further down the line I'll be able to, but definitely by the time I get to Beppu, I'll be able to, and I think Hiroshima is fairly close to the coast. So, I can probably get a train or something to the coast and have a day, because um, the weather's nice, man. Um, I know I've got my jacket on, but it's a bit windy but I think it's like 20 degrees again today. And also I don't want to be stared at by everyone. <laughs> I think a combination of being white, wearing all short sleeves at this time of year, and the tattoos means that people just stare at me, which is fine. Gonna head to a Don Quixote now, which is a shop that sells literally everything. Uh, there's sensory overload in there. Uh, hopefully get some super glue to fix my camera later and then we'll head up to the old European houses. Uh, I'll give some backstory as to why that is a thing when we're there. When I say it has everything, I mean everything. If you need something in Japan, go to Don Quixote. And yes, it is named after an old Spanish book. Don't ask me why. Its mascot's a penguin. I was gonna get a tram, or I think it may be a subway actually, 
up to the European houses, but it's actually only a 13 minute walk from here. So, gonna head up there now. Apologies for the loud music goes to an arcade. Head up there now, and when we're up there, I'll tell you more about the area. So, here we are. The street is called Injikan, and back when Kobe was first opened up as a trading port, because Japan was closed off from the west for the longest time, America showed up with ships and just said, trade with us. Uh, so they kind of had to, and this Kobe was opened up as a trading port, and a lot of European traders moved in. So there's Portuguese, Spanish, English houses, and all the superpowers back then. As you've just seen, there is a sign for Baker Street Underground Station. Uh, I'm going to pop into the English house, I think. I think that's probably the only one I'll do, because they all charge like four or five hundred yen each. Um, but seeing as I'm English, you know, we'll pop in there, take you on a little tour around, and then I'm going to head back and see if I can fix my camera now I've got the super glue. As for later, I'll probably go out for food. There's some recommendations at the hostel. Uh, it seems like it's a pretty good ramen place. He's recommended that's not far, and I am really keen for some ramen right now. Now that I'm not near the coast, it is warm. <laughs> I am sweating. So, hopefully, we can get back, cool off a little bit, chill out, and then go for some food later. So that was the English house. It is really interesting to see the sort of fantasy, the romanticization of European culture in general here to a fair, but specifically in that case, British culture. A fraction of a percent of houses in the UK look like that, and they're not stuffed with armor and paintings and statues. I know it's supposed to be like a whole historical thing, but it was all sort of, sort of like a mishmash of eras, really. They had like a Jaguar from the 50s, but obviously Sherlock Holmes isn't set then. So, yeah, it's quite confusing. And also it had all the modern subway stuff, all the modern tube stuff, which obviously didn't exist then either. I don't want to be nearly negative though, it was kind of cool. 750 yen, they're not fucking worth it. Gonna have a wander around the rest of the streets, have a look at some of the houses. Not actually going them though, because I'm not paying that much money. And then we'll be heading home. These are all kind of like Mediterranean I want to say. Like Italian, Spanish looking houses slash villas. We just saw the Austrian one. There's loads around here. It's all up a giant fucking hill as well. <laughs> Why do I just keep finding mirrors and <laughs> doing stupid shit with them? Here's Italy, although I wouldn't say particularly classically Italian. Other than, yeah, I, mean, I guess that bit, kind of, and then obviously the flag, you know. But the house itself, I don't know. Yep, this looks like every shitty hotel everyone stays in when they go on holiday to Greece. So that was a quick tour of Europe. Doing what I'm going to do in three months in 30 minutes. Yeah, it's interesting to see. Feels kind of strange saying that just done a European tour when I'm in Japan. Some of the houses did look pretty nice. 
some nice ones at the top of the hill up here that have just gone out of view. I wonder how expensive they are. I mean, you'd think because Japan loves European culture that they'd be more expensive. I wonder how different they are inside. Are they like European houses inside or are they like Japanese houses on the inside now, but on the outside still look European? I'm talking about the more modern ones because they're kind of stuck with the European theme here, which is interesting. Walking towards the train station now, gonna head home, hopefully fix this bloody camera because I've already recorded this and the battery popped out at the last second and it corrupted the recording. So, fingers crossed. Got back to the hostel. Gonna have this like steamed cake thing with chocolate bits in. Banging bakery sections from Combini's are underrated as fuck. And also an orange juice because it's the only good way to get vitamin C. Gonna fix the broken door on this camera and do a bit of editing. So I did it. I managed to fix my camera. I can't quite believe it. Basically, using super glue and a little multi-tool I have, I managed to get it completely working again. It took a while, there's no denying that. <laughs> but I'm proud of myself. I was devastated when I dropped it this morning. So, I'm very pleased, hopefully it's gonna hold up. And if not, I still have super glue, so, you know, I'm just re-glue it again. It is currently just gone six o'clock, I think. Probably head out for dinner in an hour or so. I'm really not that hungry at the moment, but I'll probably do some editing now that I can actually open my camera again and get the SD card out. And then I'll take you with me when we go to get some ramen. There, there is someone who... I shouldn't laugh, I shouldn't laugh. Some little kid just tripped over. So, back at the hostel now after having that ramen. It was all right. It, uh, it was good. It just definitely wasn't anywhere near the best. I felt this, the uh, broth was not as rich as it could have been. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it was pretty decent. The noodles maybe weren't great. The pork was really good and the egg was amazing. Uh, I need to keep remembering to say that if you guys are enjoying the content, please do subscribe. It means so much. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment. Uh, also, any improvements, anything that you think I should change, please let me know. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna get some editing done and then go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow.